Welcome back to another one, yo. We got SCP-2701 True Solitary Confinement. I've been trying to watch one for a long time, and now I'm finally getting around to it. It just looks super cool, and just the idea of an SCP surrounding solitary confinement in prison, it just sounds mad wavy for the reason, but we got the man to the legend, Dr. Bob, so let's get straight into it. Yeah. She wanna know where I be. She wanna know, yeah. Walking that bitch, cause I know I love my sleep. Walking with slime, yeah. That nigga mad, cause she wanna leave with me. Show that she mine, yeah. I let her brag. Whoa, I let the intro run a little bit long there, my fault. I was kind of like, just, it was just so good. <laughs> a prisoner in a striped uniform is led down the central corridor of a penitentiary by a pair of guards. Wherever he's being taken, the prisoner is not going peacefully. The other inmates stand at their cell doors watching. Is that me? As he is dragged past them. The prisoner is begging for the guards to show him mercy, pleading for them not to make him go in there to subject him to anything, anything in the world, but that. The guards pay no attention to his cries as they force him along. They reach the end of the corridor and stop in front of the last cell, number 667. The prisoner looks into the dark, empty cell and screams, struggling against his captors one last time before they overpower him and shove him inside, slamming the door shut Please. behind him. The prisoner looks around the small, dim cell all that's inside is a bed with a thin mattress and a filthy toilet. He looks extremely scared, his eyes searching around the cell as if a monster is going to leap out from a dark corner and grab him. The prisoner hears a cracking sound and jumps in fright, spinning around to see a different kind of monster. Standing between the two guards who led him here is a third prison guard. Why are you cracking your knuckles, man? He's enormous, and the prisoner watches as he cracks the knuckles of his massive hands. The giant guard reaches for something hanging next to the cell door. It's a uh, clipboard. He looks at the prisoner's uniform and notes his name before writing it down. The large guard asks over his shoulder, So, what are we thinking? One day? Two? For this one? One of the other guards answers, He deserves a lot more than that for what he did. Damn. Why, what do he do? Asks the big one. He attacked one of the nurses. Nah, that's unacceptable. Pretty bad shape. That's unacceptable. One of the nurses. The veins in the larger guard's head start to bulge that's out one, as his grip on the pencil tightens. Who was it? It was... it was Gloria, the guard answers. The pencil snaps in the giant guard's hand. One of the guards quickly picks it up and hands it back to him. Through gritted teeth, he answers, I see. As the giant guard stares at him with angry, violent eyes, the prisoner starts to slink back into the dark cell, terrified of what's going to happen to him. You like to attack nurses, do you? Well, we're going to give you plenty of time to think about that. I'll see you in a year. The two other guards. A year in solitary? Oh, no. That's crazy. A year in solitary is crazy. Bro, you know, his eyes are going to be... F his eyes are going to be done for. He's going to be in the dark for a year. But it's... Oh. Let's look at each other, clearly thinking that this is extreme, even for a crime like this. Are you sure that's a good idea? One of them asks but it's already too late. The guard has penciled in the date for exactly one year later. No, please, no! The prisoner screams, rushing towards the bars and reaching out as if it will somehow help him, but it doesn't. There's a faint rustling of wind that seems to carry the sound of whispers, and then the prisoner vanishes. He's simply gone, blinked out of existence. The guard hangs the clipboard back on the wall before turning and quickly walking. Wait, y'all know, they know that this happens? Oh, true solitary. That means that nigga's gone forever. In a way, he needs to get to the infirmary. The two guards can do nothing but shrug at each other and follow after him. Poor guy, one of them whispers as they walk away from the empty cell. One year to the day later, the huge guard walks down the same prison corridor. It's late at night, and as he walks along, he lets his baton hit against the bars of the cells, making a loud clatter. Wake up, everyone, wake up. It's a homecoming day. Sleepy prisoners get up out of their beds and stand at the front. Nigga, he been there for a year too. What's the difference? Front of their cells, trying their best to look through the bars to see the cell at the end of the block. See what happens when you mess with staff. Come on, get up, get up. Today's the day. It's a homecoming. The guard gets to the end of the corridor and stops in front of the empty cell with the clipboard hanging on the wall next to it. Is the cell not partially opened or am I bugging? The door is open and there's nothing inside the dark cell except for the same dirty toilet and bed. The guard takes out his pocket watch and checks the time. Everyone, the guard and the prisoners alike, are all focused on the empty cell. 
The guard checks his watch again. The minute hand ticks over to midnight, and the moment it does, the cell door slides shut and locks with a loud click. The prison is completely silent, each inmate waiting with bated breath to see what happens next. The guard takes out a large, heavy ring of keys and inserts one into the cell door before stepping inside. He looks around, and still it appears that nothing inside is different. But then he spots what he's looking for. There in the corner, near the toilet, is a huddled figure in a striped prison uniform. Well, 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 there you are. The guard starts to walk towards this person who has somehow appeared in the cell, but the huddled figure doesn't move or react in any way. The guard reaches down and puts a hand on the man to flip him over. How'd you enjoy your stay? Solitary confinement is one of the most Ooh. brutal forms of punishment that is still in use across much of the world today. The psychological and physical distress that comes from days, weeks, months, even sometimes years spent alone can be devastating. But as horrible as this practice is, there exists a form of retribution that is even more terrifying. One that even the most hardened of criminals fear and would do anything to avoid. This is SCP-2701, also known as True Solitary. SCP-2701 is a seemingly standard-looking prison cell located in a now-condemned Pennsylvania State Penitentiary. The prison, which was built in the early mid-1800s, was showing its age long before it was finally shut down, and the cell contains only an old toilet and bed, with a clipboard hanging to the left of the cell with various forms marked as intake. The cell's construction materials appear normal, and the contents themselves are non-anomalous. It is only when someone is placed inside of SCP-2701 and the clipboard next to the cell is used that its frightening effects become evident. When a human being is locked within the cell, their name is written on the intake form and a date is filled in under the Release Date section, SCP-2701's anomalous activation event is put in motion. Thirteen seconds after these conditions have been met, the person inside will disappear, completely vanishing from view as if they simply no longer exist. Any attempts to better understand the process by which they dematerialize have been unsuccessful, as all recording equipment looking into or placed inside the cell will show only static or blank images during the 13 seconds before the subject disappears. Researchers observing the effect in person, though, have reported the sounds of wind and unidentified whispering voices, but it is still unknown what may be producing these. At 12 o'clock a.m. on the dot on the release date, the cell's door will somehow close and lock itself if it is not already shut. At this exact moment, the person who vanished will- bro, could you imagine? I don't think y'all understand, bro. You are alone, and I mean just alone. How do them motherfuckers eat? Hold on, let me listen. Let me reappear within the locked cell. Unfortunately for the person who was locked inside, while they may have returned to our reality, it is unlikely that they will ever be the same. Experiments into SCP-2701 have revealed that those who are placed inside and vanish will experience a state of complete sensory deprivation while remaining fully conscious the entire time. They experience no sounds, smells, or sense of touching anything. They do not even see darkness, since that would imply sight. Instead, they truly experience no senses nah, at all. Wild. This effect can be disastrous nobody for the human psyche, be, nobody with should subjects ever have to go reporting that. that they have developed intense fears of both shadows and light claustrophobia, agoraphobia, and a fear of going to sleep following their time within SCP-2701. At the same time, they will have experienced no physical changes at all, including aging, no matter how much time has passed. But the worst part of SCP-2701 is that those who are locked inside do not experience time at the same rate as you were. What? Is it slower? No, tests have revealed that once someone disappears from within the cell, they will feel as if time has been significantly stretched out with the dilation effect causing them to perceive time at a rate that has been estimated to be between three and four hundred times longer than normal. That means that someone placed inside for two hours will experience time as if they had been locked away for twenty- He was put away for a year. But bro, he was- He was gone for millennia. Oh, they did my boy. Dirty. Nah, fuck all that, bro. They did my boy dirty. 25 to 33 days, while someone placed inside for a whole year will feel as though they have been floating in a void of nothingness for several centuries.
Foundation researchers have theorized that the absence of any outside stimulation for that long of a period causes the mind to break down rational thought structures in an effort to mitigate stress and that a complete psychological breakdown soon follows. In order to better understand the effects of SCP-2701, the SCP Foundation embarked on a number of tests using Class D personnel. In one experiment, which was performed on a D-class known as D-77391, the event started at 11.45 p.m. and the release date was set for the coming midnight. This led to the D-class being inside the cell for 15 minutes, though they experienced their time within as having lasted 75 to 100 hours. When D-77391 was interviewed six hours after reappearing, they described their time inside as being a true hell. Experiencing nothing but emptiness, they couldn't do anything. They couldn't sleep, they couldn't even scream. They were left alone with only their thoughts and memories. The only thing that kept them from completely losing their mind was something one of the researchers told them before they entered the cell. The researcher told them that no matter what they felt, that they had to hold on to the idea that they were going to come back. They needed to remember they wouldn't be in there forever. While these words of encouragement did wow. seem to stave off the worst of the mental effects D-77391 could have suffered, they also impacted the results of the experiment, and the offending researcher was later reassigned to a different project, following a six-month suspension. Bro, uh, of course you gotta give him some sense of hope. How else the nigga supposed to come back sane? Oh no, nah, this testing is inhumane, to the highest degree, bro. The SCP Foundation first became aware of SCP-2701, following reports of certain abnormalities at a Pennsylvania state penitentiary. There were numerous complaints by lawyers that they were not being allowed to meet with their clients, and that they were being denied access to the site by the prison's warden. When police were finally dispatched to the site to investigate, it was discovered that the entire prison, which previously housed 137 inmates and employed a number of staff, had only one inhabitant. The warden. He described the activation procedure for cell 667, and explained that he had placed every single prisoner inside, one by one, and made them disappear. He had been keeping the funds that were supposed to be used for the care of the inmates, as well as to bribe officials and former staff in order to keep the warden's scheme secret and prevent any official inquiries. The warden surrendered to the police without incident, and an undercover Foundation agent within the Philadelphia police soon alerted SCP agents to the cell's anomalous effects. When a Foundation team arrived on site, they found the cell exactly as described, along with the intake forms. The prison warden had been telling the truth. Over a hundred forms were filled out with inmates' names, with release dates ranging from 50 to over 1300 years in the future. The ease with which SCP-2701 is able to be contained has led to it receiving the safe classification. The former pr no lie, bro. They just prison where SCP-2701 is located is monitored at all times by video and audio surveillance, and a security guard equipped with full body restraints is present at all times to both detain any subjects who appear within the cell, as well as prevent any new ones from being placed inside, that aren't a part of an official SCP Foundation experiment. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob, like SCP-052, the time-traveling train, for another anomaly with a direct line to the unknown. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single anomaly as we delve further and further into the SCP Foundation's classified archives. That's crazy, bro. I would never, bro. That's inhumane, bro. I would never want nobody to go through that. Like, you literally, like, they fuck with your head. Like, dude, they're done, bro. He put a bunch of people in there for hundreds of years. As if nobody want to see their family again, bro. Somebody probably did a little something like a real, like, a little crime. And they just in there for... This is sad, bro. This is really sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, bro. Let me know what other SCPs and stuff like that y'all me to check out. And I'll see you on the, the next one, bro. Peace out. That's crazy.